Hello, Lindsay Foster with TTP TV. We're here in Newport, Rhode Island at the Puma Race Headquarters with Ken Reed, skipper on Il Mostro for the upcoming Puma Volvo campaign. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Ken. So now we're in Newport, you grew up around here. Do you feel that gave you a home field advantage in your sailing career with over 40 national, world, and North American championships under your belt? I think the advantage to, to living in the Northeast like this is you have obviously the ocean in the summer, but then we had other things to do in the winter. You know, my brother and I played hockey all winter, so sailing was really exciting for us. Whereas you could see with the kids from Southern California that by the time they got to college, you know, it just wasn't such a big thing. You know, Rhode Island's been very good to me. That's why we set up the Puma campaign here, and uh, this is home. I grew up in a little different era. There wasn't really much of a professional sailing circuit. When I got out of college, uh, it was the spar makers or the boat builders or the sail makers were grabbing the better college sailors right out of school. Here's a J24, go win. You know, here's a Lightning, go win. And it was the ultimate job. In 2008, you had a chance to campaign your own Volvo team for the first time. What was the most amazing experience about that? Steering Dennis Connors to cup campaigns. I learned a ton. I didn't mind people putting the finger to me that, hey, this didn't work, this guy screwed up, this, but I wanted to make those decisions that led to those either good times or bad times. I really, I like the camaraderie. I, I like putting the team together. And I think giving back to the sport, finding a company like Puma to, to come into the sport of sailing, it's just what this sport needs more of. The Volvo Ocean Race takes you through some of the roughest ocean conditions on the planet. What's the most dangerous situation you've ever found yourself in? The leg from Singapore up to China was just hell on wheels. You knew the storms were there. You knew the, the Straits of Taiwan, the black current gales were there. How black the nights were and how big the waves were. To me, this is the pinnacle of the sport right now. The America's Cup has been in such flux that it's really been kind of hard to follow and I don't think very good for the sport. This is excitement. This is bringing millions and in some cases billions of people around the world into the sport of sailing. You don't get a sponsor like Puma or Berg thrown into your lap very often. So when you do, you better take it and run like hell. And I've done that. I enjoy getting out of bed and going to work every single day. Now you came in second in the last race. What are you doing differently to attempt to win this one? When we finished the race, we kind of came up with a, a potential plan going forward. We changed personnel, we changed our roles a little bit. We changed designers. Do we have maybe a better shot at moving up that one spot? Well, I certainly hope so. Well, we wish you the best of luck, Ken, in the 2011 campaign. Thank you so much for being with us today. For T2P TV, I'm Lindsay Foster. Thank you for watching.